So today is another video where I just like hold the camera, I guess. Today I'm doing my room tour, my long-awaited room tour. At least I've been waiting forever to do it. I was waiting to do this video until my sister was painting something for me, but she's not gonna do it or I'm not gonna wait for her, so whatever. So I'm just gonna show you my beauty room and I'm gonna show you, like, I did a lot of things on my own. I'll let you know how I did it in case you're interested in duplicating it and all that stuff. So let's just get started. Okay, so this is what you see when you first walk into my beauty room. This is the official view of it and you'll see him in here most of the time as well. So I guess we'll just start right, we'll just start right here. So I have this clock that's just a clock I got from the Dollar Tree a long time ago, like before I got married. And I just painted it with some gold paint. And I will show you guys which paint I used because it's the same paint I used to do a lot of stuff in here. And I will show it to you in a second. But I used the same paint on the desks and um, here. And in here is my walk-in closet where I keep my earrings and stuff. But they're just in a jewelry box. There's nothing special. And then I have this wall right here. Which, if you can tell, has some of these glittery red rocks and the tips of these tacks are also red and glittery. Now that's something I did myself. These rocks are found outside of my house. I have a big pile of rocks in our little like um, entrance to our crawl space and so I just took some out and put some Mod Podge on them and then put some red glitter and then I put a uh, command strip. I cut it into little squares and put a command strip on the back of it so that it sticks to the wall. And so that's how I keep my necklaces. And then with these thumbtacks, they're just regular thumbtacks you can get from any store. I just did the same thing. I dipped them in Mod Podge and then glitter so that the heads of them are glittery as well. And so then I have this little tower thing here. It's not very organized because I don't really... This is not set in stone, but I'll show it to you anyways. This is just where I keep my perfumes. Um, my body sprays are in the back, and on this thing, there are uh, just like actual perfumes, but I need to get some more. And then on the next row, we just have lotions and a sign that someone made me. This one is a huge mess um, because, I don't know, I think I was just using it a second ago to find a headband. But this is where I keep all my headbands. This thing has like nail polish stuff in it. Uh, like dotting tools and just all kinds of accessories for nail art. And then we have this lamp that does not match because it's not painted gold, but I have it in here because I needed extra light. Um, oh, and one thing I forgot to talk about is obviously this wall. So when we first came into this house, we painted the living room and the hallways and this wall right here. That's all we painted. And we painted it all the same color. So this yellow color here, or it's like, it's, it's not really yellow. It was called Barcelona White, and it's from Valspar if you're interested. <laughs> and so it's like a yellowy white color. I mean, that's the color that's in our living room and our hallways as well. So when we, when we moved in, the walls, all the walls in the house were basically this color. There's a couple that are not. But they're this like kind of beigey, I don't know, like tan color. And so we, my sister and I worked on this room and it took four days to do this. We used painter's tape and we just taped diagonal going one way and then we taped diagonal going the other way and then we painted over it. And this is what it looks like and I'm, I just love it. It was such a great experience to be able to sit there and work for four days, you know, hard labor and then to have it turn out like this is just awesome. Now you can tell if you like look towards the top like those two are smaller than these ones. It is completely not even because we are not professionals. So, you know, and plus you're tired and just you're, it's just a lot of things, but it looks perfectly fine for my taste and I'm super excited about it. So then I have my mirrors up here. These are just two like long door mirrors that you can get at Target for like five bucks or Walmart for five bucks. And how I attached them, it was kind of a, uh, trial and error because I tried originally just attaching them with these these are command hooks I put two I put two on uh, Both sides and then I put two on the bottom facing the other direction so that it kind of sat on there and held it and that Was not strong enough because the, the mirror kept falling down and the command hooks kept breaking So what I did was I put the command hooks like the way I had them before so four of them and then I took two other 
command strips, like just the sticky part of the command hooks, and stuck them on the back of these right in the center and just pushed it up against the wall. So that's what I've done with both mirrors and they, they have not had a problem since and that's been about a month and a half. So that's how I have those up there. Now on my desk I just have a pumpkin cupcake candle from Bath and Body Works that I got the other day from my friend Kelsey. This is just a picture I printed off of the internet and it's just the Disney princesses because they are fabulous. They look fabulous as always. Um, and then behind here I have just another paint or a picture that I printed off that I thought was kind of cool. And then I have my homemade vase. I this These bottles are from my husband's place of work. He works at a company that they distribute glass and plastic containers and so this came from them. I painted the inside white for my wedding so these are all for my wedding and then I just use that same paint I used on the clock and the desks to paint around the rim and then these are just some fake flowers that I put in there. And then of course my makeup collection which you guys have seen all of that so I won't go through that but I will tell you about these things. These are just those plastic containers that you can get at Walmart or Target for like five bucks as well or actually I think these small ones are like four bucks. And what I did was I went in and on the inner side I just taped some white paper and I alternated it between white and then on the gold ones. These gold ones are just washi tape that I taped on there, on this side, not on the inside. There's nothing on the inside for those. And I just alternated it throughout so it had a cool look and I'll show you the washi tape. This is the washi tape I used to do that with. I can't remember where I got it from, <laughs> but you can find gold washi tapes in all kinds of different places. And while we're in this drawer, I'll just show you kind of how much of a mess it is. This is where I keep all my roll washi tapes and some planner supplies. This is another thing of full of stickers. I really need to go through that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much a mess. And then in this drawer, some pens and some more washi samples that I got from Naomi. She's the best and uh, an organizer that has some more stickers in it. Um, and this is a glass of that Tropicana farm stand green juice that they keep showing commercials for and it is the bomb, I love it. <laughs> Anyways, okay so for these brush holders, I got these from a place called Ollie's and they're just like wire ones and I painted that same gold paint around the top and the bottom edges. And these I also got from Ollie's, they're just, I didn't paint those. so. And then I have right here, these are my three little bins. This one is for toss or to give away to friends and I have two things in there. If you're my friend and you want any of these, please let me know because I'm giving them away. <laughs> um, and then I have things for the giveaway, future channel giveaways. And then I have my empties, this is for empties. All right, moving on, I have another vase over here. Um, with the same, oh, there's a tag on that still. So I didn't even notice that. I need to take that off. And then this is a thing, this shelf thing I picked up at a yard sale for three bucks. And guess what? I painted it with that same gold paint I painted the desks and everything else with. And this is where I keep my nail polish. And I just ran out of room because when I first put this up there, I didn't have some of these. I, I just keep buying nail polish though. So it's a really an issue. I'm already out of room on it now. So but we'll see. Maybe I'll have to squish them together. And then right here, I have a picture of a bird. And you're probably thinking, what the actual heck is that? This is a photo printed on canvas. And this is a photo that my dad took. He is really into photography like I am. He's the one who got me into it. And he loves taking just like portraits of animals and things he can see out of his window. And uh, last winter here in Kentucky, we had a lot of snow. And this bird, he found sitting on a branch outside of a, his window on a tree and he took a picture of it. And I just love how fat the bird is and how cute it is. And I just went and put silver and gold glitter on there. It kind of changes what it looks like from where you're standing. I love it. I love it. And then on this side, this is the messier side of things. This is my little makeshift desk. Um, I need to get an actual desk, but that's still, that's still in progress. But this is where I keep things for work and just like our house stuff. Like that's the home and management binder, like a budget. This is my like little 
st uh, station for, I don't even know, because I don't, I have a piano, and I have, we have three guitars, they're in the other room, I have an acoustic, and electric, and then a bass, electric bass, and a flute, I actually have a flute as well, but I don't really play them that much, I do get the guitar out from time to time, and this amp is for my acoustic electric guitar, because my acoustic is also an electric, um, but this is where... I'm keeping it. And then this is a calendar that I just put washi tape on to make it gold to match and I have not filled it out yet and just some ribbons. And this is my this is my filming station. This is my backdrop I have right now. I don't really like it. I've had a couple comments on my channel saying that it's kind of distracting. Let me know if you think it's distracting as well. Um, I do already want to change it though, but this is just what I have for now. And then my two lights, and then my tripod, and I just got back from work, so that's why these are here. Usually they'd be put away, but that's my camera bag. The green bag is my laptop bag. Okay, so now back to these desks. You can tell these are the same desks I had before. If you remember watching any of my videos, they are just like brown. And they were given to us by my husband's parents. And so they're just like hand-me-downs. And so I really wanted it to be more chic, so I painted them gold. And this is the trash can, and this is my church bag, and this is my <laughs> just random craft thing. And over here is where I keep photo props for my photo shoots. This is the paint that I used to do all of the gold painting. I got like four bottles of it, and let's see. It is the... Martha Stewart Craft Multi-Surface Metallic Acrylic Paint and I don't know if this is like a certain color, it's just gold, just called gold. And we bought this from Michaels. Uh, I don't know where else they sell it, but we got ours from Michaels. So if you love this gold color, because you could get like spray paint, but I did not want to spray paint. Because then your stuff smells like spray paint for like days and days and days and I was not all about that life. so. I just got some acrylic paint, but I wanted it to be shimmery. Um, and it's not too shimmery, it's just like a doable amount of shimmer. And so I love it. Like, I love the way that this nail polish tower looks. It's the perfect amount of shine for me. So this is the paint I would suggest getting if you want to paint with anything metallic. And they have different colors. They have like a silver and like a bronze. Uh, they had more than just gold, so. Okay, so that's the end of this room tour video. I'm like completely out of breath now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you have any questions about anything you saw, then just leave it down below. And subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.